Yo, what's up guys, John Boogle here, and here we are, wow, finally, it is the UL playthrough of Battle Rats. Yeah, not Battle Cats, Battle Rats, yes, I finally did quit Battle Cats, and here we are, we're playing Battle Rats now. Now, these first few levels or sub-chapters of UL is pretty straightforward and nothing too difficult at all, and I remember them very clearly. UL is essentially the big joke. Part 2. I can already see all the people in the comments already. But you can't lie, it's true though, for the first couple UL chapters at least. But we are gonna reach a point eventually where everything is completely new and not seen. Cause like I said before, I've played most of the first couple UL chapters before, but after that, we'll see if it's Still a big joke. Speaking of that, this first level is exactly that, and let's move on into the next level. Now this subchapter is kind of disappointing with the levels itself, as you could probably tell with the intro level of the subchapter. Kind of wish they went more bold with the beginning of UL and not something so boring like this. But what is this, my third or fourth time reaching UL again, I think? I know it's not five or six because those are the older accounts and... Yeah, endgame on those accounts were Musashi. By the way, Katasaurus here is gonna shred Super Metal Hippo very easily. But yeah, here we are back to go up until the end of UL for the fifth or sixth time. So fun, I know, right? So fun. Oh wait, hold on, I completely forgot. We're playing Battle Rats. This is actually my first time ever getting to UL on Battle Rats. So that should be pretty good. Hey, there we go, Super Metal Hippo down. Another joke stage out of the way, and next up, you guessed it, another joke stage. The potential here is just so large, they could have gone so much more bold, and it crushes me every time I come back to play in these early subchapters. But yeah, let's move on into the third level of the subchapter. Ah uh, yes, here we are, the first stage that is quite different and it is just one old horn another one horn variant the relic one horn variant there he is aka the gato amigo bully stage aka professor cat jobs bully stage aka jotaro bully stage either way this stage is gonna get bullied here we go it's jotaro time there we go what's better than one jotaro two jotaros <laughs> Yeah, this stage was made for us to just essentially bully Old Horn here. You know, it doesn't help that this subchapter is only six levels long either. Like, come on, Ponos, this is essentially the first UL subchapter. You gotta make it hype. But there goes Old Horn, and yeah, this was the halfway point of this subchapter. So yeah, we're moving into the last half of the subchapter already. But yeah, on into the fourth level. Here we are, this is the Seafarer Playground stage, and I have no idea why I still have slapsticks in the lineup, I forgot to change it, but oh well, we'll bring it, just for that extra DPS, I guess. Yeah, I don't expect Octo to do too much here, and it's only just to get that initial Seafarer stack, because once we get that Seafarer stack going, this level becomes, uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should have brought CPU because I'm pretty sure there's infinite seals in this stage. I don't think there's infinite shockwave pigs, but seals, yes. And yes, that was someone speeding by. Here comes blue clown number one. Octo was a fraction late, but it's fine. It kind of sucks that our seafarers are synced up though. But we got another one coming up hopefully to fix that issue. Never mind, they're all still somewhat synced. Looks like I'm actually gonna have to time the next one. Okay, here we go. This time, this is not gonna be a synced up seafarer unless the... Of course. I was about to say, unless he gets knocked back. And great. Now they're all synced again. I mean, at least the attack rate is fast enough that it's not too detrimental to have them synced up. But it does help out a bit when they're desynced, of course. So yeah, we got a large enough stack now to just plow through everything. So yeah, don't really expect too much here except murder. Wow, okay, so they're actually pretty boosted. And yeah, there we go. Finally, they're going down. Oh, one blue clown remains. Yeah, enough playing around. We just sent out a Bahamut and he's just gonna wipe everything out. And yeah, the boosted alien enemies here were not enough for a seafarer. And yeah, that is the fourth level moving on into the second last level of the subchapter, which is of course the one and only Professor A stage. And yeah, 
We'll see you there. Here we are, I could have brought Ro, but we're just gonna do it the cyberpunk way, even though it might take a bit, and use waves and LD. If the levels itself are not interesting, then I'm gonna have to make them interesting in some way. Also, Ro might kinda get bullied here with the relic doges and just the amount of peons in the way. But we got slapsticks for that, so it could have worked out, but either way, we won't find out because we got the cyberpunk and we know way. Oh yeah, here we go, we're gonna be seeing cyberpunk a lot in these UL subchapters. I got Cyberpunk above can can pretty easy. Here we go, big base hit moment, and wow, w wait, okay. <laughs> So it's a Master A, not a Professor A. I thought it was a Professor A. Well, good thing we didn't bring Ro. Well, if it's a Master A, that's gonna take a little bit longer. Because I'm assuming this Master A is pretty boosted and buffed. Yeah, now I'm here, I definitely should have brought Neandam instead of A-Bahamut. Because A-Bahamut's window in this level right here is pretty small and non-existent. But yeah, this is gonna take a while, so speed up. And there we go, the clown is dead. Pretty long level. If I had Neandum, this would have gone by a lot faster. Yeah, moving on into the final level of this UL subchapter. UL2 aka UL1. Let's go. Here we are with the final level in the... Essentially the first real UL subchapter and Professor Catjob's making his second appearance in this video And you probably already know why and that is of course the old horns Yes, multiple old horns in one level. Oh my god such a difficult level this one is This is basically one of the newer advents, but uh, The joke version you can really see how they recycled stages very easily I could have brought Jotaro here again, but that might have been a little bit over overkill if I did. And yeah, it's already seeming to be a little bit overkill killing that old horn pretty quickly. Don't actually remember how many old horns are in this level, if there's infinite or just like three or two. I guess we'll find out. Okay, so that is number three. It's looking like that might be the last one. And yeah, there we go. Perfect balancing. That one died as soon as this one got up here. That's just how we need it to be. Oh, is Professor Catjobs dead? I can't even tell. He might be dead. <laughs> yeah. Looks like he is. Well, at least we got another one charged up and ready to go, and yeah, should be an easy sweep. And there we go, like I assume, that might be the last one, and we can just push good old Neandum here. If Cat Jobs can get that initial weekend, that would be real clutch. Come on, you could do it, Cat Jobs, and oof, he didn't get that initial weekend, so he is on survival lethal strike right now. Here we go, this is our... Last push here to get as much damage with A Bahamut as possible with Cat Jobs alive. After this hit, he's gonna be dead. Oh snap, we got the knockback right in time. But that knockback might have cucked us. Yes, it did. Wait, Professor Cat Jobs is still alive. Yeah, whoa, wait, what the hell? Did the wall cats just kill the Neandum right there? Well, I was expecting the Neandum to be way more boosted than that. But yeah, there we go. That was the first UL playthrough, UL2 complete. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you're new and want more of these UL playthroughs. Like I said before, we're gonna cover everything and as much as we can, so yeah. It's been John Boogle and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!